Hey, this is Tim bringing you words of grace uh, from Queens Boulevard and Union Turnpike. I'm kind of halfway through my bike ride to the office and I pulled off to uh, start a new series of videos. Right? I'm going to do a playlist that, that talks through passages that are often misquoted, uh, verses that are often misunderstood. One of them has to do with this, right? A bike or walk into to the office and uh, gets good exercise. A lot of people misquote a verse in 1 Timothy 4, 1 Timothy 4, 8, that says, bodily discipline is only of little profit. I don't know if you've heard that, right? Somebody say, well, uh, you can exercise if you want, but that's just, just a little bit of profit. And the, and the conclusion there that people come to is, you shouldn't exercise. You don't need to exercise. It's only of little profit. So, you know, if you get to it, good. If not, you don't. But as you read the context, that really does take advantage of the meaning of the text. Uh, the phrase before it says, Discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness. For bodily discipline is only of little profit, but godliness is profitable for all things, for this present life and for the life to come. So, so the point of the text actually is to discipline yourself. Uh, it's not that bodily discipline is only of little profit. The point is, discipline yourself for the point of godliness, right? So use your discipline, uh, the saying no to your body, um, and as you do, that will transition into godliness, which is profitable for all things. Um, as you're able to say no to yourself in these, uh, you know, walking daily or uh, saying no to yourself in, in biking or whatever it is that you do to exercise, um, you should transition that into or do that for the purpose not of uh, being fit, but for the purpose of being able to say no to other things, right? Whether that be with your eating or with your uh, saying no to temptation or getting up early to read your Bible, right? It, it transitions into all those things. And so it's a, it's a shame that we misquote that verse. We're getting it wrong and in the context it's so important. He's encouraging Timothy to be structured and to be strong and not to be weak in how he stands for the faith, and that's going to take discipline. So discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness. Bodily discipline is only of little profit. If, if all we get from it is the bodily discipline, yeah, that's just a little profit. But, but transitioning from that bodily discipline, you actually gain benefit in godliness and growing in to be more like the Lord. Um, so bodily discipline is only little profit, but godliness is profitable for all things. So continue, right? Be structured, be disciplined. Uh, fit this into your regimen somehow uh, to, to get some good exercise, uh, help your mind be fresh, and to build some discipline into your life for the right purpose, not for yourself, but for God, as we do all things to be done to the glory of God. But first and most important, don't misquote that verse, right? Don't use that verse and twist it against what it says and say, don't exercise, don't be disciplined. Uh, because that's not the point of the, the whole context in the phrase.